Hey everybody, welcome back to homerecordingmadeeasy.com and here on my YouTube channel. This time out, we are gonna take a look at a new free plugin from Steven Slate over at Slate Digital. This is called Fresh Air. This is a cool plugin. Uh, this is something that is free, free download for you. You can download it on their website. Um, a real nice, simple, easy plugin to use and I think is really effective. We're gonna to listen to this on a full mix. We're gonna to listen to this on a set of a drum bus and on a lead vocal bus just to hear what it does. So basically what it does and it adds some nice upper frequency, some air to your signal source without having any brittleness or harshness. One of the problems um, that you may find, especially with dense mixes, is you get through the end of your mix and you find that things feel a little bit flat or you feel like when you try to open up the top end and give it some presence and some clarity, you can get some sibilance or some harshness. It happens quite a bit, especially on larger sessions with a lot of instrumentation going on and lots of vocals and lots of background vocals. It's hard to get that nice open air sound, that nice clarity at the top without having a bunch of sibilance and a bunch of other problems. And that's what this plugin claims to kind of help us with. So this will be really interesting. So let's take a walk through the interface. It's really simple to use. We have this um, two big buttons here in the, or two big dials here in the center called mid and one called high air. The mid air works on the high mid frequencies. The high air works on the high frequencies. You have a little link button in the center here. So if you turn up one, it'll turn up the other one, or you can uh, in a, disable that and you can turn them separately, set them to where you want. And then when you link them, now it keeps the relationship between the two. So that's interesting. So that's the way you can use that, real simple to use. We have a power button down here in the left-hand corner. We have a trim control here that will allow us that as we start to boot some of the high, the mid air and the high air, um, some of the you know, output level could be a little bit louder and we can go ahead and we can, um, we can reduce that here by using the trim control. I have this beautiful uh, meter here in the center here that we're gonna have, um, when we play back this audio here, we turn and we, we uh, enable the plugin. So you'll see these two lines, the purple line here and the blue ball here. And if you roll your cursor over that, you'll see that the ball is the RMS level and the line is the peak level here on the meter. Okay, uh, and that's pretty much it. We have a bunch of presets here that Steven Slate has developed here, which is really good. Most of the Steven Slate presets on most of their plugins are very usable. It's one of the things I love about their plugins. A lot of times, plugin manufacturers, their presets are usually unusable. They're not even sometimes a good starting point. That's total opposite with Slate stuff, and I've demonstrated that on multiple plugins of theirs over the years, um, and this is really good. So we'll take a look at this as well, and you can also save your own preset if you'd like or load your own presets. It's pretty straightforward. So I have this on a master bus. Now this mix here, it just has a couple of, um, um, across the, uh, the entire mix here, uh, a tape machine, uh, plug in here the virtual tape machine by Slate Digital followed up by the VCC. There's no other compression or EQ or anything else going on. And then I have fresh air inserted in a couple of different places. Um, we're going to bypass them all now and just listen to it on the master bus here. So let's listen to it on the master bus and let's see what it does by turning up some air and see how we can add some presence and some clarity and let's see if it gets harsh. <laughs> You can see just by adding the midair there, and as we start to turn up this dial, you'll see it gets a little bit brighter in the display. That's kind of cool, right? Um, so as we turn this up a little bit, you can also see that I've turned down the output here because we're pushing, adding a little bit more, boosting some frequencies, right? And therefore we're getting a little bit, it's getting a little bit louder the output so we can use the trim control to go ahead and kind of level match that. Now the thing about this plugin, much like uh, the Slate Digital Revival plugin, which is a little bit different, that's more, that's a little bit different of a, of a modeled concept where you had the shimmer and the thump, I think it's called. Um, you want to you, you want to use that in a very kind of subtle way. And the same thing here is you don't want to get too crazy with this because you can tend to overcook it, overdo it. 
So. It definitely does what it advertises on the tin, meaning that it doesn't get um, really brittle at all. Um, I'm just turning this up about 20, 22 and 27 percent here. Not very much at all. We could even hit it a little bit harder. Let's link these two together now and turn it up a little bit more and see how it does. And I'll turn down the trim to uh, compensate. going to be way too much obviously Well, it definitely, this is definitely great. If you just want to throw it on the end of your mix and just tweak it in a little bit, you can add exactly what it says, a little bit of air without having any kind of harshness or any sibilance to it. So that's on the master bus. I'm going to turn that off on the master bus. Let's listen to this maybe on a lead vocal bus here with the lead vocal and the background vocal kind of kicking in. This will be interesting to see if it gets any sibilant or harsh. So here we are just on the lead vocal bus here, and we could even solo this up. I know the season's ripe for change It's changing all around I know the reasons you've arranged They're tearing me down Where is the peacefulness of mine? I want to hit the... Where will my heart come back to life? I'm alright As I pick up the pieces that are left of me I'm alright Be it away from you and once you get up about halfway, more than 50% on the high air, it's going to get a little bit, a little bit, you know, which would be, of course, that's going to happen. Again, I think you have to do this in a gentle way, but just by adding a little bit of the high air and a little bit more of the mid air. And I'll be fine, cleaning out the corner, putting back in order, but no, I will always have this too. A little piece of you. Sounds great. Let's do that now in the context of a mix to see how it can help cut through a mix. We'll start with it off. <laughs> That sounds fantastic. So it really does help when you do it in the context of a mix and you just need to pull that vocal, get it a little bit on top of the track, give it a little bit more openness. This works really, really well. Again, got to be careful with the high end. The more high end sparkle you add, you're going to get some, I wouldn't say harshness, but you're going to get some sibilance, but you can hit it pretty good before you start to run into that territory, which is fantastic. Really, really nice. I mean, Slate does a great job on this stuff. Let's uh, let's just listen to a drum bus, maybe. I thought throwing on a, on a set of drums, again, just to see what maybe it can do to help bring out a snare or bring out the crack a little bit more. Maybe not 
have too much uh, harshness on the symbols. Let's see what that does. So here's none. Gotta turn it on first. Brings out the hi hat quite nicely. Turn down the output a little. That sounds great. Fantastic. Let's do that in the context of the whole mix. Let's bring that out in the whole mix and listen to that. That's fantastic. That really helps bring out the, the snare, brings out the hi hat. You hear a little bit more of the percussion. It gets everything to cut through really, really nicely. And again, I'm not hitting it too hard. We're probably being a little bit aggressive with it, but it's not too bad. Let's see how much more we can push this in the context of the mix to see where the drums kind of maybe fall apart a little. That's really great. We're, you know, we're hitting it pretty good here. Again, I'd probably be a little bit more subtle with it. I know the reasons you've arranged. You're tapping me down. Where does the peacefulness of mine? Where will my heart come back to life? I'm all right. As I pick up the pieces that I've left in me. I'm all right. Wonderful. Wonderful plugin, really, really nice. Great that it's the good utility plugin, not something you may use in every single mix, but um, I could definitely see having this maybe parked on your master bus. This is on a drum bus now that we're listening to it only. If I shut that off on the drum bus here and shut that off on the, the vocals and we just listen to it again on the master bus, um, I could see parking this on the master bus and just having, you know, maybe one of the presets that you can tweak something like, uh, oh, turn on, power. Okay, let's go to our, why don't I have my presets here? That's interesting. The preset dropdown's not working for some reason. Let me uh, maybe put another instance. Reestablish this plugin on here. Maybe something went a little quirky there. Uh, where's my Steven Slate stuff? Slate, slate, slate. Here we go. Fresh air. There we go. Don't know what happened there. Okay. Let's go to something like Mix Bus Polish. You know, you could see even on the presets, it's pretty conservative, right? Mix Bus Sparkle, a little bit more on the top end, but you can see there's nothing above 50%. Well, Presence Pop, maybe a little bit more. Shiny. Okay, shiny's <laughs> Yeah, I can definitely see parking this on the master bus and just keeping it off and then towards the end of the mix as you kind of need it, just bump a little bit of air in there. 
sounds really, really good. This is a great, great plugin. And again, I believe it's free. Um, you can download it from their website. Again, uh, Slate did this a few years back with the Revival plugin as well as part of the VMR, which I use a lot as well. It's a kind of an exciter. This is based on, um, on a Dolby A on, um, reduction um, exciter as well. So this is based on one of those types of things. And again, I love it that it's simple. It's easy to use. It just sounds good. Again, be conservative with it. Don't overdo it. And I think it's another one of those great utility plugins that you park on either a master bus or a couple of different sources and um, just brings things to life and pumps more air into your tracks. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful and you enjoy taking a look at fresh air. Now, if this is your first time here, I want to give you a free gift. Head on over to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. Get your free mixing course right on the homepage. Big orange button. You can't miss it. Make sure you get your free mixing course today. And I also want to give you a 25% discount coupon code YouTube 25. You can use that on any other course on my website at checkout. Get 25% off. All the links will be in the description box below. And until next week's plug-in review, I've been Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and mixingmadeeasy.net. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Take care, everybody.